Hello friends, so today we're going to discuss the problem A from the latest Court Forces round 669 uh, Problem thing like you can read it out, it's a little bit funny So the problem statement states that Alexandra has an even length array A which consists of zeros and 1 Now the element of the array are enumerated from 1 to length so it means that there are n elements in that array consisting of only zeros and 1s and the length of that array is even now she wants to remove at most n by 2 elements like at most half of the elements she can remove such that the in such a way that the alternating sum of the array will be equal to 0. What does this mean? You can understand this with this line which says that Alexandra wants the sum of all the elements at the odd position and sum of all the elements at the even position to be equal. So like after removing some elements what you actually have to do here is after removing some elements the sum of all the numbers at the even position should be equal to sum of all the numbers at the odd position. So as you can see this is some example if we remove the element from 2 and 4th index this is the final uh, array which will be formed such that if you do the sum at the even positions which is like 1 0 and odd position 1 0 so the sum is 1. So that's the whole question. Uh, in the question itself or in the context itself like it seems difficult for me but the solution is very quite interesting and very simple I'll tell you how you can go through this question. So let's assume that you have some array. Let's like write that down some simple examples. So yeah. So first see these examples. So what you actually hear or like one more example. Yeah. So this for example can make everything clear. So as you can see first what you can do here is first count out how many zeros and ones are there okay so what does did like this information help us so let's count it out first if i count out how many zeros are there the zero number is equal to one so there's only one zero and how many ones are there like the ones are equal to three now if the total number of ones is more than like the the half more than half of the original length then just print out that c's so how this is helpful so the thing is after removing at most n by 2 elements so let's assume that you have some length of length n you can remove at most half of the elements like maximum you can remove like two elements three elements or max half of the elements so if you like remove half of the elements then the rest of the elements length is n by 2 because you have removed n by 2 elements also let's assume that you just remove two elements so the length of this is n minus 2 which is greater it means that the length is very large compared to n it is not less than n by 2 so if the total like the length of or the total number of ones is greater than n by 2 what does this mean it means that i can only take those ones or take all those zeros and just write them down why because if i just write them down like all the ones and they are greater than n by 2 it simply means that i have removed all the zeros and the total remaining length is equal to like this one 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 i hope you understand because because i want that my final length is between like it is it should be greater than n by 2 it it should not be less than n by 2 so if the total length is greater than n by 2 of all the ones the total number of ones is such that they are greater than n by 2 or total number of zero is such that they are greater than n by 2 i just like write them down so if they are n by 2 or greater than n by 2 i should write them down so that's the first logic the second logic what you can see here is if there are like zeros only so if there are only zeros there are like let's assume five zeros if you write down five zeros the total sum at the even position and the total sum at odd position doesn't matter okay but if there are five ones if you want to print five ones then it, it is mattering because the sum at the like odd position is equal to three but the summation even position is equal to two so this is not valid e like if there is a total length of odd which you want to print what does this mean like let's assume there is a like a series of length 10 there's a series of length 10 now you can remove at most n by 2 elements so my my date like so the final length should be minimum of 5 and greater than uh, like the greatest length should be 10 okay so now the thing here is if i remove n by 2 elements and let's assume after removing all left are zeros okay if everything left out is zero so what the, what i mean by here is if the length of 
uh, a series is 10 and it's like this 1 1 1 1 1 and 5 times 0 okay if I just delete all these five ones and take out these five zeros then it is fine because the total summation of even position and odd positions is good but same if I delete down all zeros and take down all these one this is not fine why this is not fine because the summation at even position and odd position is not same so what does this mean it means that okay if the total length of a uh, total number of zeros is greater than or equal to n by 2 is greater than or equal to n by 2 also because if it's equal to n by 2 also whatever the its length is it's even or odd it doesn't matter it should be more than or equal to half okay then we just print out all the zeros it doesn't matter because we just take down all the zeros and they are greater than or equal to n by 2 it's fine if the length of zeros is less than n by 2 what does this mean it means that if they are less than n by 2 it means that ones are greater than n by 2 so if ones are greater it means that if in this series there are like five ones then one should be greater than n by 2 which means let's assume there are six ones so uh, three four five six one and four zeros so if there are six ones i can just take down all the ones and pin down all the ones because they are even so th so what i have to say here is if i want to print all zeros if i want to print all zeros then they should be even or odd it doesn't matter but if want to print all ones then they should be even then only the total sum at the even position and odd position are same if let's assume in the same case there are seven ones one two three four five six seven ones and three zeros then this is not possible to just print all the ones though they are or greater than n by 2 i can just delete all the three zeros and print them but this is not valid because the summation at even position and odd position are not same so what you can do here is we know that the total number of ones is greater than n by 2 greater than n by 2 they're not equal they're greater than n by 2 if i subtract one also then at most they can become greater than like n by 2 they cannot go less than n by 2 because they are greater than n by 2 if i delete one by them then it can come down to n by 2 also because they are if so the condition is if they are even the total number of number of ones is even then just print it out else if they are odd then subtract one from them so that it will become even but even if they become even the total length will not become less than n by 2 and we can still print th those ones and that's the logic for that question i hope you understand the question part now and the logic part let's move on to the code part now so the code is also very simple in which what you'll do take the input of n count the number of zeros and ones in like in that array if the total number of zeros is greater than or equal to one and like what you can also sit here is like if the total number of zeros is greater than or equal to one it's obviously mean that it's greater than or equal to n by two you can also state that if the total number of zeros is greater than or equal to n by two what you can do we don't matter what they are even or odd just pin down how many zeros are there so in the question we have to print out in the final sequence how does the final sequence look like the final sequence and the length of that final sequence so our aim is if zero is greater than or equal to one then just print all the zeros so how many zeros are there the total number of zeros is this and print down all the zeros else if n like ones are greater than n by two and if they are odd let's check that if they are odd subtract one if they are not odd just print out the total number of ones and print how many ones are there else if they are odd then subtract one from them so that we can make them even and then print out all number of ones i hope you understand the logic as well as the code if you still find out speech mentioned down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye